to zoom, scrolling the mouse in, zooms in, and backwards, zooms that out. It will always keep what is under the mouse under it while you zoom in or out. So if I want to see, for example, this section, when I zoom in, that is always going to be there. So if I wanted to look at this connection down here, we can always see that it will zoom about our mouse. Next we have our rotating. To rotate, again, I can hold down my shift key. And we can see middle click becomes rotate. And I can click and rotate about. We can see it gives us sort of an isometric view. If I hit SA, it turns everything in that view solid. And then I can go ahead and rotate back if I wanted. One thing to be careful with is I just rotated and then rotated back and we can see our elevation here at the bottom is now showing at 121 foot 1 into 16th. So we need to make sure when we are rotating that we are doing the correct rotation. So if I wanted to go back, I'm going to go ahead and select open view and reopen my second floor plan. We can see my elevation is back. So if I wanted to see a connection, for example, if I rotate but don't end the command and then go ahead and rotate back, we can see that stays at our 114 foot 6. If I rotate and then let go and I pan around a couple times and I want to get back to my plan view, there's two different ways we can go about this. If I hit U on the keyboard, that's going to undo my view changes and bring me right back to that. Or if I rotate a bunch with our icon inside of our layout, so I just hit the undo view change, and we can see that brings us back. Now let's say I'm working a bunch and I rotate about this a whole bunch of times and I don't want to have to hit U or select that icon a ton. I can use what is called revert view. It's either control R on the keyboard or this icon here for revert. If I select that, that's just automatically going to open up whatever our last view opened was. When rotating, it's going to be very similar to our zooming. If we wanted to rotate about this column or see this column, we want to make sure we're hovering over that when we start the rotate command. So I can see, for example, like this material here, I can rotate about that. If I am zoomed in really close and I'm rotating out here in space, now I'm selecting some arbitrary point and I could get really lost really fast depending how zoomed in I am. Where I just want to hover over where I'm wanting to rotate about. Again, I'll revert view using control and R on the keyboard. And then the next tool we're going to take a look at is called show and hide members. So if I have members selected, I can right click and select hide members and we can see those members are hidden now. So I could continue working with whatever I wanted. Maybe I was looking at one of these connections and I could take a look closer there without those other members in the way. On the right hand side we do see our hidden members listed in the model tree just in a hidden members section. To bring those back I can right click and select show members and that's going to bring everything back or if I have those hidden, I can go to my display and then in here I have my show members. So again, I can go in and hide those or I have another option in my right click for hide unselected members. So if I wanted to only see those that are selected, I could go hide unselected and now we only see those. Again, I can just select that icon to bring all of that right back. If I would have closed out of the model and reopened, those members would all be shown again.